this shit is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Okay, now seriously. Shit has gone down. Hey everyone, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. If you've been following my channel, you probably noticed that one of my most popular videos, my What I Eat In A Day review of Freely The Banana Girls Diet had been taken down. And I got a lot of questions and concerns about where this went and what was going down. Well, let me tell you, there was a little bit of drama happening behind the scenes. Okay, so let me tell you the story. So. Back in February when I was on holiday, I got a notification from YouTube that I had a copyright strike filed against me. And copyright strikes have huge implications for our channel, so rightfully so, we were quite worried about this. Um, and of course, who filed the copyright claim? Freely herself, yes. So we decided to go through the process of appealing the copyright strike, and after 10 days having no response from our dear friend Leanne, uh, our video was reinstated, of course, and if you haven't watched the video yet, you can check that out right here if you're curious what all the kerfuffle is about. So let's take a look at the final tally where we are so far. So before afternoon even hits, Freely has eaten, scratch that, has drank 2,240 calories, 7,527 milligrams of potassium, 590 grams of carbs, and has hit almost 500 grams of sugar. Guys, these numbers are crazy unbalanced. Now listen, I am not here to be a YouTube bully. But as a dietitian with a public profile, I really feel like it's my, my duty to call out this problematic behavior. And I get that I've been a little bit abrasive in the past with Freely, and I've really tried to tone it back in my, my more recent videos, but I feel so passionate about this because I've lived this life. I have a history of disordered eating and I see her diet as so disorderly and as, it's almost like an orthorexia how-to. I feel like it's so problematic, I need to say something. And my concern is that, you know, she's got so many followers, so many people watching her videos, following her way of eating. I see a whole slew of YouTubers that have kind of come out of this world from her. Um, and I want people to know that for the vast majority of you watching her, this way of eating is not going to serve your body well, not physically or psychologically, that's for sure. It's not about the veganism. I wholeheartedly believe that you can easily incorporate a plant-based diet into your life and do so in a really, really healthy, balanced way. But Freely is not a testament of that. As a dietitian YouTuber, I feel like I have these competing priorities of me not wanting to critique or shame people for their diet because, hey, what feels good for you uh, feels good for you, and that's great. And Freely, if you feel great eating this way, I am so happy for you. I mean, I'm not gonna yuck someone else's yum. That is how it works. That's what intuitive eating is all about. But when a YouTuber comes across as being so prescriptive of the way that they eat and being so dogmatic about it, so religious about it, I have to step in because I see it as a public health concern. And this is a public health concern. We have skyrocketing levels of disordered eating happening. And personally, I can definitely attribute a lot of that to the rise of these social media influencers when it comes to all of these highly restrictive diets. And I, I have to say something. Now, what I've learned through being thrown into this whole world is what a toxic environment the wellness space is online, especially on YouTube. Honestly, it's like high school all over again and Freely's the bully that nobody wants to stand up to. And props to those who have stood up to her. I mean, this is not Freely's first legal rodeo. You know, I take my role as a dietitian very seriously. I think I have a lot of responsibility as a public profile RD. Um, and this is not the first time that Freely has attacked another dietitian for calling out the diet that she promotes. I am the proof that it is working and so are thousands of women around the world and it is sustainable. And I have my blood tests online. Do you have your blood tests online showing that you're extra healthy? Uh, no, I don't need to actually prove no, that. No, that's the thing. I mean, and I've had obese nutritionists try and tell me <laughs> that my diet is wrong and I'm like, hey, just because you got a bit of paper doesn't mean I'm going to take your advice. So honestly, I'm quite surprised I haven't seen a response video from her yet. 
I'm gonna be doing a video very shortly about what I've learned in the kind of vegan YouTube space, which I feel as though there's a lot of bullying going on. There's a lot of judgment, a lot of kind of like holier than thou happening where like one person's not vegan enough for the other person. Like who the f cares? I've kind of been watching a lot of these videos and these critique videos um, to get a sense, especially of like Freely's style. Because if you watch Freely's videos and you like look at her channel, there's a lot of these like clickbait titles like why I'm no longer vegan, why I'm vegan again. Then she's got some what I eat in a day videos. Then she's got all these critiques of other people. And a lot of them are like her calling out people for eating meat. And then other ones are her calling out her like vegan brothers and sister YouTubers who are not vegan enough apparently. Um, so I have no qualms with this format, but just don't be a hypocrite about it because if you look at what she filed against us, it was a copyright claim. But she uses this format all the time. All YouTubers do. It is totally legit and kosher in the fair use terms. Um, so I just find it really interesting that of all the things she could ding us on, it was a copyright claim for a format that she uses consistently in her channel. And listen, I am like navigating this space myself and learning as I go. Um, and yeah, I was totally way more harsh with Freely than I have been more recently because I'm, I'm trying now to look at the specific diet rather than kind of critiquing the individual. So Freely, I'm sorry you're pissed that I called you out on your dangerous disorderly content, but if you're gonna bully me like you bully everyone else on YouTube, you're gonna have to do it with actual science and reasoning and not just copyright claims. And to all of my awesome viewers, the good news is that we are back in business here at Abby's Kitchen, calling out bullshit and making awesome videos backed up by science and sass. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have some YouTubers What I Eat In A Day videos to review, definitely leave me a comment below. We're keeping a list of them and there's a lot of diets to get through. So definitely leave me a comment. I will get to it eventually. Uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye.